Hey guys, Hecons here with another World of Warcraft cool making guide. It's been a while since the last video and a lot of people have been asking me what the best methods are for gold making right now. Today I'll be going over what I've been doing to make tens of millions of gold in patch 10.2. If you'd like to see my gold making live, be sure to follow me over on Twitch, link in the box below, or you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I go live, as I've started simulcasting my stream to YouTube as well. The race to world first ended yesterday, and we now know what materials will be needed for the items to craft a new legendary weapon. These include a wide variety of materials, so it'll be very lucrative to farm or flip these in the coming months. I flipped a bit yesterday, but the majority of my gold making has focused on the two inscription items that people will need, Cosmic Ink and Rude Rithe Bark. Just from the Cosmic Ink, I've had over 3.5 million gold in sales in the past day. These have a crafting cost of around 350 gold if you buy all the mats off the auction house, but get much cheaper if you just shuffle everything yourself. You can see yesterday I was selling them for as much as 2k each, which is around a 80% profit margin. With the Rune Ride Bark, I've had around 1.5 million gold in sales. A lot of the ones that I actually crafted yesterday went into making the Cosmic Inks, but I did manage to sell some of it here for as much as 2k each similar to the prices of Cosmic Ink. I'll likely keep AK crafting these like I've been doing the last couple of days, as long as they stay this lucrative. Next, let's talk about Raid BOE flipping. It's always been one of my favorite ways to make gold, as I've been doing it since WAD when I first got into gold making. I saved this flip on my monk as an example to show you guys how easy it can be. I end up buying this Visage of the Devouring Flame, last Wednesday for 100k, which I thought was too low, and relisted it for 800. It sold sometime between Wednesday evening when I bought it, and Thursday afternoon when I logged in to check out my auctions. It was a really quick turnaround, and I made enough profit from this to purchase two odd tokens. The Season 3 PvP gear has been insanely profitable and in demand. If you guys saw my tweet of my mailboxes, You'll know that I ended up with around 11 million gold in sales, just selling the Verdant Rings, Nex, and Cloaks during week 1. We managed to snipe a handful of recipes during my stream for the 10.2 launch, and then ended up crafting and moving a bunch of pieces to all of my realms to sell. I was able to sell items for as much as 50k each in a few realms, when they only cost around 300 to 500 gold to make. You can see on this tune on my full pop, I have 9 pages worth of sales, and most of these are from week 1 and week 2 of the new patch, and most of the sales are actually just PvP sales. Here's one of my flipping realms where I was able to move some of the Verdant PvP gear over. You can see we were able to sell the Signets and Amulets for as much as 30k. Prices are much lower now, but you can still get some pretty decent profit on those, just crafting them on one realm and moving them to others. Here's another one of my flipping realms. You can see on this realm we had a bunch of sales at close to 20k for the amulets, the wildercloth cloaks, and the signets, which are the rings. Uh, a little bit over 200k in our mailbox here. Here's another one of my realms. You can see the prices range from 6.6k all the way up to close to 30k. And we have a little bit under 300k in our mailbox here. Here's my mailbox on Stormrage. You can see we sold a lot of PvP items on this realm, as well as Darkwind Fair items. Uh, supple Gloves are from WAD. They added back in the uh, old transmog, so it's definitely worth crafting those. Throwing them up on the auction house. Chromatic Swords I picked up by, I think, on Warmrest Accord. Got them for as low as 20k at one point. Just moved them to a bunch of my realms. More PvP sales. The schematic I uh, flipped. I think I grabbed them at like 300 gold at one point on this realm. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Yeah, my average buy on 36 of those is 300 gold. You can see we've already flipped nine of them at 15k each. Uh, average. Uh, 4k all the way up to 42.7k. 
have a few more in my guild vault to up on the auction house right now. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. A couple of other flips as well on recipes. Another supple piece. It's another wad piece uh, that I mentioned earlier. The sale I really wanted to highlight is the portable party platter, though. It's a new engineering recipe that they added in 10.2. I think it takes around uh, about an hour and a half to craft that. But you can see we made it uh, worthwhile. Listed it for like 150. I got 142.5 after the auction house cut on that. But yeah, pretty good mailbox here. A little bit over 400k. And that'll actually put us at 1.57 million. Almost 1.6. Had a pretty interesting mailbox on this realm as well, so I'd go over it. Uh, specifically, the sales on the Manel Harden Claymore, Manel Harden Arm Guards. I believe those are from BFA. Just random greeds I crafted and threw up on the auction house. Uh, we actually sold two of them for 14k. And did also sell the coarse leather vest, which is the uh, leather working chest, uh, also for 14k. Really cheap to craft. Figured I would just craft a few and throw them up on the auction house. And we managed to sell a couple of pieces. Figured it was uh, worth the mention. I think the Hanzo Surge was probably a flip. You can see I have a bunch of them in my... Uh, Inventory, average buy 821 gold. Uh, managed to sell one for close to 15. Pretty decent ring and neck sales here as well. Even sold a cloak for like 12k. I think those are all the sales that I wanted to mention. Oh, we did sell a schematic here for 19k as well. I think my average buy on this realm is slightly higher, but... Still probably made like 18k profit on that recipe. Here's my mailbox on Tychondrius. Uh Pretty decent sales here. We have a little bit over 3.2 million in our mailbox. Most of that came from the deviously deviled eggs. I mentioned these a couple times in past videos. They're actually selling below crafting costs right now, so I've been crafting the last couple of days. Uh, we did have some nice sales on the wayfaring pieces, though. I believe that comes from the Wad Garrison. Uh, sold three of those pieces, uh, all three at close to 30k each. 23.5 uh, after the auction house cut. Nax items are still doing really well. You can see we sold uh, a couple of armors and a bunch of weapons on this realm. I think the design was a flip. I think I ended up with uh, two of these recipes on this realm. Uh, from sniping the first week of 10.2. Uh, so I ended up keeping and learning one, and I managed to flip one for close to 50k before the prices dropped on those. Looks like we had a couple of uh, Nax pieces sell last week as well. Uh, Stygian Shield. Oh, that was two weeks ago. Uh, Soul Scryer was last week, though. 23.7k for that. Another Wayfaring piece uh, sold for 25 as well. Definitely worth getting into the uh, garrison like Warlords of Draenor. The transmog pieces that they uh, added back in. Also sold off my Augment runes on this tune. I hit around 20 on my monk, so if I need any sort of uh, Augment rune, I'll probably just buy the Unlimited Use one. On the tunes that I plan to play in Season 3. But yeah, pretty happy with my sales here. It's actually down to like 800k. So this will put me back up to 4 mil on this tune. Don't forget that weeks like this week, when we have time walking, are a great time to sell gear people may need for their alts to get into time walking dungeons for leveling. On this run, we were able to sell 6 of the cloth crafted ruffle pieces at 19k each, scooping up an easy 114k. Crafting costs on these are pretty low, so most of that is profit. Lastly, with the holidays coming up, 
Don't forget gold making with Winter's Veil and other holiday events. You can stash the extra Grumpus mounts you farm during the event and sell them throughout the year. On this realm, we have sold three of the Swift Lovebirds the past month, two at 95k and a third one at 147.2k. A lot of really nice PvP sales here as well. A uh, nice flip on the Scarlet chest piece. Gotten those as low as 20k on some realms on NA. Probably 10x on our uh, investment. We have uh, 749k here. That should actually put me at 7.5 mil on this realm. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. And I'd like to give a shout out to Nish for your continued support over on Patreon, as well as Mikhail, our latest supporter. Happy gold making, and hope you guys are having fun in 10.2. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Late.